Hey, hello there. I got this poem from oldpoetry.com. The title is The Blind Man and the Elephant. Or I think it might be or should have been um, The Blind Man and the Elephant since it involves more than one man and the elephant. Anyway, some um, this website says The Blind Man and the Elephant, so that's how it'll be. It was written by John Godfrey Sachs. So let's start. So the blind man. Well, it sounds the same. Blind man, blind man, the blind man and the elephant. It was six men of Indostan, to learning much inclined, who went to see the elephant, though all of them were blind, that each by observation might satisfy his mind. The first approached the elephant, and happening to fall against his broad and sturdy side, at once began to bawl. God bless me, but the elephant is nothing but a wall. The second, feeling the tusk, cried, Oh, what have we here? So very round and smooth and sharp. To me, tis mighty clear. This wonder of an elephant is very like a spear. The third approached the animal, and, happening to take the squirming trunk with his hands, I see, quoth he, the elephant is very like a snake. The fourth reached out his eager hand and felt above the knee. What most this wondrous beast is like is mighty plain, quoth he. Tis clear enough, the elephant is very like a tree. The fifth, who chanced to touch the ear, said, Even the blindest man can tell what this resembles most. Deny the fact who can, the marvel of an elephant is very like a fan. The sixth, no sooner had begun about the bees to group than seizing the swinging tail that fell within his scope. I see, quoth he, the elephant is very like a rope. And so these men of Indostan disputed loud and long each in his own opinion, exceeding stiff and strong. Though each was partly in the right, and all were in the wrong, so oft in theologic wars the disputants, I ween, tread on in utter ignorance of what each other mean, and prayed about the elephant not one of them has seen. Very nice, and um, I think it's kind of fun reading the comments of the um, people who have um, read it. One here says, Excellent, perhaps it is more relevant today than when it was written. Said by Enmirza. And from the Kung Fu Witch. A fantastic story and read. I enjoy the pace and presentation and flow the tale with a twist. And I absolutely love the ending. So oft in theologic wars, the disputants I ween tread on in utter ignorance of what each other mean, and prayed about the elephant not one of them has seen. How perfectly true. Bravo, poet. And let's see the other page. Yes, it's page two. What does it say in page two? Oh, I guess that was it. Oh, was there page one? Let's see. Previous page. Yeah, it says such a good lesson for those stuck in their own corners, unable to see the big picture from EA. 
and Moody Chick says it's really good. It reads to me like a short story more than a poem though. I love the truth behind it and how to each blind man he's seen the absolute truth about the about the elephant that they will each discuss and dispute to no end. Well, in the end, it doesn't even remotely affect the elephant's truth whatsoever. Thanks for sharing. That's from Moody Chick. Cat 23 says, I really enjoy the almost childlike innocence this poem has, even with such a deep meaning of ignorance. Caitlin Brown says, It's a good poem. See, Sonny McNair I need this as a child. Oh, I read this as a child. Red Dagger. Really enjoy this. Keep it up. Keep it up. A. Eh? Love this rhythmic. And Josh B. Says, love this rhythmic approach to the blind men in the elephant story. S.E.A. Angel. Misperception of supersedes reality both men and women alike. We interpret from our own vantage point that so oft breaches truth's own dyke. Okay, own dyke. Having misinterpreted wishing deluded, or having misinterpreted uh, wishing deluded would simply just take a hike. Oh, like an elephant never forgets, oft understanding will persist in hopes reality soon arrives to reveal truth to even those who resist. So victims of misperception, please don't lose heart, I must insist. One day the truth will ride in, yet if not be strong, not misdefined, for if you are conquered by misperceptions, you'll become misaligned. Wandering through life, bound by errors and omissions that we defined. Tanya says a wonderful story, nicely presented. This is wonderful. Heard this story before, nicely penned. Thanks for sharing. I love this poem when I was a kid, but I always figured the same principles applied to politics and economics and... Angel, oh, this is GM Cookie, and Angel, or Angeli, or Angelina Ken, says, good. Okay, this ends that thing. From oldpoetry.com, The Blind Man and the Elephant. So the way I remembered, it was not a poem. I thought it was like, yeah, I really thought it was a short story. And I, uh, when I was in grade school, we, uh, we discussed this. Well, we read this. I remember it as a story. So uh, maybe the one who wrote this had uh, just modified it to make it a poem, or maybe 